If we're interested in finding the mean and the standard deviation of a continuous distribution that is also a uniform distribution, there are some nice formulas that we can use to quickly find these values. So if we think about a uniform distribution that's going from a to b, it's got a height of 1 over b minus a. And we know it's a perfect rectangle. We can find the mean of that distribution. The mean is going to be right in the center. In other words, the average middle point of the distribution. So to get to the middle, we just have to add the endpoints and divide by 2, and that'll stick us right in the middle. For the standard deviation, we also have a formula, which we won't get into the derivation in this class. But it turns out to be the square root of b minus a squared divided by 12. So for example, if we go back to the fact that the time to fix a furnace is uniformly distributed, between 1.5 hours and 4 hours, which we've already seen the picture for this situation going from 1.5 to 4. We know because that width has a distance of 4 minus 1.5, which is 2.5. So the height is 1 over 2.5, or 0.4. If we wanted to find the mean of this distribution, we would simply have to take those endpoints of 1.5 and 4, add them together, and divide by 2. When we do that, we get 2.75 hours. So on average, these furnaces are being fixed in 2.75 hours. If we wanted to find the standard deviation of the fixing times for these furnaces, we use our standard deviation formula, which is the square root of the top, 4, minus the bottom, 1.5, squared, divided by 12. We can put that in our calculator, and we find out the standard deviation of fixed times is 0.7217 hours. So if we want the mean or standard deviation for the uniform distribution, we simply have to apply these formulas to find our solutions.